Hi everyone! In this video we're going to find the integral of dx divided by the square root of 4x minus x squared. And this is such a great problem because it requires a couple things. It requires us to complete the square and it's also going to involve an inverse trig function. So let's take a look. Like I said, this will require us to complete the square and it'll require us to complete the square with what is underneath the radical. So I'm going to rewrite that, but I'm going to rewrite it in standard form. So I'm going to put the negative x squared first and then the plus 4x. Now in order to complete the square, the leading coefficient does have to be a positive one. So I'm going to factor out the negative one. Now I'm going to leave a space to complete the square. To complete the square, I take the coefficient of x, sometimes known as the b value, and I divide that by 2 and then square it. So that would give us negative 2 squared or positive 4. So positive 4 is what completes the square. Now I can't just go into a problem and decide to add 4. I need to undo what I just did so I can return it back to its original form. So I then need to subtract 4 to undo the plus 4. What I've done when I complete the square is I've turned this into a perfect square trinomial that can be factored. So this can then be factored to x minus 2 times x minus 2 or x minus 2 squared. So once again, that means if I were to multiply or FOIL out x minus 2 times x minus 2, I would get x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then I have this minus 4 right there. So now if I go back in and distribute the negative to each term, I would have negative x minus 2 squared plus 4. Or I can swap around those terms and write it as 4 minus x minus 2 squared. And that's how I can rewrite what is underneath the radical here. So let's come back up here and rewrite this integral as dx divided by the square root of what we got down here. 4 minus x minus 2 squared. And now these are exactly equivalent. So remember, I'm just writing it in equivalent form. I am not changing the problem at all. Okay, so we've done the part where we need to complete the square. Now, as I mentioned, this integral is going to involve an inverse trig function, and I can see that now. So if you can write an integral in the form of du divided by the square root of a squared minus u squared, this is going to equal arc sine of u divided by a plus c. And I can see that I can write this in this form if I make a be equal to 2, because then we can see 2 squared would give us 4. And then u is going to be x minus 2, because then I can see x minus 2 squared would in fact be u squared. And so then if I take the derivative of u with respect to x, I get 1, because the derivative of x minus 2 is just 1. And so I can see du is equal to dx if I multiply that over. So in fact, I can write this as, well, dx is du, the square root of 4, which is 2 squared, minus x minus 2 is u, so u squared. And you can see it does in fact look like this. So now I can rewrite it with arc sine, or I now can integrate it. So the antiderivative now would be arc sine of u over 2 plus c, so 2 being our value of a, and replacing the u with x minus 2, I would have arc sine x minus 2 divided by 2 plus c. And that is how you find this integral. Thanks so much for watching, and if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already for future math videos. Have a great day, everyone.